Francois, what an honor. <laughs> I am so excited. Thank you for coming all this way to see me. Yes, sir. Thank you for inviting me, Mr. President. So, uh, tell me, Francois, how was your ankle? My ankle? I was told it was hurt. Has it healed? The truth is, uh, you never really play at 100%, no matter what. Ah, yes. In sports as in life, eh? Yes, sir. Now, please, sit. Uh, take this one. Looking into the light hurts my eyes. Mrs. Briss, you are a shining light in my day. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Briss, this is Francois Pinard, captain of the spring box. Oh, no, my goodness, my fruit box. Oh, no, my goodness, my Shall I pour, sir? Uh, no, no, I, I would prefer to do it myself. Thank you very much, Mrs. Briss. How do you like your tea, Francois? Just milk, please. The English have given us many things, including rugby. But uh, afternoon tea, that is the greatest. There we are. Thank you, sir. You have a very difficult job. I do. I have a trading business. Captain of the spring box. A very difficult job. Well, not compared to yours, Mr. President. <laughs> Well, uh, no one is trying to tear my head off while I'm doing mine. Yes, sir. Tell me, Francois, what is your philosophy on leadership? How do you inspire your team to do their best? By example. I've always thought to lead by example, sir. Well, that is right. That is exactly right. But how to get them to be better than they think they can be? That is very difficult, I find. Inspiration, perhaps. How do we inspire ourselves to greatness when nothing less will do? How do we inspire everyone around us? I sometimes think it is by using the work of others. On Robben Island, when things got very bad, I found inspiration in a poem. A poem? A Victorian poem. Just words. But they helped me to stand when all I wanted to do was to lie down. But you didn't come all this way to hear an old man talk about things that make no sense. No, no, please, Mr. President. It makes complete sense to me. On the day of a big match, Say, a test. In the bus, on the way to the stadium. Nobody talks. Ah, yes. They're all preparing. Right. But when I think we're ready, I have the bus driver put on a song. Something I've chosen. One we all know. And we listen to the words together. And it helps. I remember when I was invited to the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona. Everybody in the stadium greeted me with a song. At the time, the future, our future, seemed very bleak. But to hear that song in the voices of people from all over our planet made me proud to be South African. It inspired me to come home and do better. It allowed me to expect more of myself. May I ask, what was the song, sir? Well, it was in Posisikilele, Africa. A very inspiring song. We need inspiration, Francois. Because in order to build our nation, we must all exceed our own expectations. <laughs>